Hi folks, Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about creating and analyzing regional cartograms. Regional cartograms, C-A-R-T-O-G-R-A-M-S, cartograms. Now, in an earlier video, I discussed how to create easily compelling cartograms in ArcGIS. I would now like to point out that one of the best things about the tool is that you are not confined to creating cartograms of variables by countries of the world, as is typically done. Think outside the box. You can create cartograms for any set of polygons that you choose. For example, a set of provinces or states, neighborhoods in your community, or even watersheds are all good candidates. Let's take population from 1900 to 2000 for a state, such as the great state of Kansas. You and your students can certainly create standard choropleth maps showing the population each census year and even an animation to help visualize the changes. But creating cartograms of the population in each county provides additional insight. See the output from selected years here. The cartograms show the settlement of the High Plains or Western Kansas from 1900 to 1930, followed by population loss that continues in some counties all the way to 2010. Coupled with that is the rise of the urban centers of Wichita, South Central Kansas, and Topeka, Lawrence, and Kansas City in Northeast Kansas. The combination of these trends, brought about by social, physical, and economic forces, squeeze some of the northern and western counties so much that they are almost invisible by 2010. Now folks, I've been to many of these counties though, and rest assured that there are some vibrant communities and good people there. Think about doing this for your own area population change in your own state over time, water quality or river flow differences by watershed, or crime rates or median age by neighborhoods in your own community. If you do this, I do think it's advantageous though if the readers of your cartograms know what the areas that you are analyzing look like as a standard map for comparison purposes. Thus, you might want to consider providing this standard map or any standard map at the front of your set of cartograms as I do here. That way, your audience will more readily understand how the variables that you are mapping distort the standard way of looking at that area. You see what I mean? The possibilities for increased spatial literacy and understanding with cartograms in ArcGIS are endless. Give it a try. Thanks.